what's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, it's basically going to be a continuation of yesterday's video where I showed you an account switcher that I coded. It's an open source project, meaning you can go and have a look at it yourself, add to it, or just use it and know what you're using isn't doing anything malicious. Long story short, it started off as just a Steam account switcher. Then yesterday, it grew into an Origin account switcher as well. And today it's grown into a Ubisoft or Uplay Connect account switcher. If you use multiple accounts for whatever reason, it's a super easy way to switch between them without worrying about putting in your password, two-factor or anything else like that. No, it doesn't save your passwords. No, it doesn't do anything like that. All it does is one of two things. It either changes files on your computer to say, hey, I was logged in with this account last, please log me into it. Or it'll go ahead and copy the files that have your token, i.e. the last user you were signed in with, and swaps that out with other saved ones that you've added yourself. So your data never leaves your PC. Let's get into it. If you're interested in the Origin or Steam account switcher, check the description down below. Even though they're all part of the same project, you may get lost in those parts of the program. So to begin, you can head across to the GitHub page. At the time of recording this, currently you won't be able to download the new beta version, which includes the Ubisoft account switcher as it's currently in beta. You are able to download this through my community Discord, which is linked over here and in the description down below. When you get into the Discord, you'll see a Techno Account Switcher section, and inside of it, you'll see a Bug Report section, as well as an Update section, where you can download the latest version of the program and test it out for yourself, as well as give me feedback on how it's working for you. That being said, I'll show you all you need to do to get it up and working. So, assuming you've already joined the Community Discord, you'll be able to download it and use it right away. But before we do that, there is one thing you need to do first. That's to make sure that you have .NET 5 desktop runtime and ASP.NET Core 5.0 runtime, which you can download here, and the WebView 2 runtime, which you can download here. You'll also find links to these in the description down below. I'm going to go ahead and open up these in new tabs. As you'll see, when I open up the WebView 2 link over here, it'll immediately start a download. That's fine. Heading across to the .NET 5 link, you'll see this over here. All you need to do is click download x64 on the left and wait for it to download. Then head back a page and on the right hand side of the page, you'll see run server apps. Under this, click download hosting bundle. After this, you'll now have three installers downloaded onto your computer, totaling somewhere around 100 megabytes. This one didn't seem to start, so I'll manually start it there. After you've installed all three of those pieces of software we just downloaded in no specific order, we can go ahead and download the actual account switcher. So for this currently, it'll be on the community discord and I'll show you the steps for that in just a moment. But in the future, when it's out of beta, all you'll have to do is click the download latest button right over here on the GitHub page. Right above it, you'll find the source code if you're interested in learning about how the software works or you're interested in adding to it. So let's head across to the discord. When you get onto the discord, have a look for the techno account switcher section on the left hand side. You'll find an announcements channel where you'll find major updates to the software, as well as a React bot right up here. As soon as you react to this, you'll get added to the alerts role and you'll get notifications in the update section whenever I release an update that's noteworthy. I would recommend this for the beta version as I'll probably be pushing a lot of updates, such as the one up here, this one, the auto updater didn't work. So you had to go ahead and download the next one. Down here at the very bottom, you'll find the latest versions of the beta software, of course, once again, if it's not public by the time that you're watching this. If you're watching this within a couple of weeks of me making this video, it'll probably be downloaded from here instead of my GitHub page. You'll know when it's publicly available. Anyway, you can download either the .7z if you have 7zip installed, or the .zip down here if you don't have any special software installed. Basically, the only difference is the one is 17 megs when the other one's 30 megs. You'll save a bit downloading the 7zip, but of course you need 7-zip. Long story short, click the download button and open up the zip when it downloads. There is no installation currently, but in the future there will be an optional installer for those who want one. This is a portable piece of software, so all you have to do is extract the folder inside of the zip to somewhere like your desktop. Upon doing this, you can close out of the zip and open up the folder where you'll find the software inside of it. Now to familiarize yourself with the actual software itself. In this folder, you'll find a ton of files, but what you're looking for is the technoaccountswitcher.exe. You can safely ignore the other ones in this folder. All you have to do after installing all three of those required pieces of software is open up technoaccountswitcher.exe and you'll have it on your computer as such. As you can see, there's a bunch of platforms to pick from and there is an optional streamer mode, which is enabled by default that should hide sensitive information like Steam IDs, etc., etc. Of course, what we're interested in here isn't the Steam account switcher, Origin account switcher, it's the Ubisoft account switcher. I'll head down here 
and you'll currently see it's empty. If I open up Ubisoft Connect, you can see I'm currently logged into one without a profile picture. That doesn't matter. If I head across to my account switcher and click Save Current, it'll add the account to the list over here. Awesome. Now to add another account that we can switch to, simply click Add New at the very bottom over here. Do try and refrain from logging out in the actual software itself, as using either of these buttons over here might cause it to stop working properly, especially the logout button. So if you are going to switch accounts, use the account switcher, otherwise you may have to re-add all of your accounts or some of your accounts. So I'll click add new and I'll start logging in with another account. You'll see that Uplay closes and when it reopens, it'll ask me for user details. After punching in some details, do make sure to click remember me as this is the most important part of the process. There we go. I'm now logged into another account and as you can see, it's got a profile picture and of course, a couple of different games. Let's go ahead and add this to the account switcher as well. I'll head across to the account switcher, save current, and there we go. Now I've got two accounts here. I can switch to them by double clicking on one of them or selecting one by left clicking and clicking login, or I can right click the account and use the swap account button over here, or I can even log in as offline or online. In the future, if you'd like to remove an account from this list, simply just use the forget button. But for this example, I'll go ahead and sign into the other account as say offline. So I'll click the button, it'll save whatever files have changed for your current account and it'll switch you across to the other account. Now, of course, when this eventually starts up, you should see that I'm on the other account and I've got the little pop-up saying I'm in offline mode, which is exactly what I expected. There we go. Now, of course, because I'm in offline mode, if I were to switch back to this account at any stage, it would probably still be in offline mode. So to go back online, either click go online in the software itself or right click the account, log in as and online. Let's go ahead and switch back to my other account. I'll simply double click it this time to demonstrate that. It saves the previous account and switches to the account we just selected. Ubisoft will then start up and I'm currently offline on this account. Let's go online. And there we go. Heading across to the game section, I'm now on the other account and I can play games on this account as I see fit. It's super simple and the other account switches work somewhat similar to this, but they all have their own quirks, such as the Battle.net 1 auto detecting accounts and the Steam 1 detecting accounts too. So far, only Origin and Ubisoft need to have their accounts added manually. These ones work very similarly. You can log in as whatever state you'd like, and they've even got things like copying Steam profile URLs, Steam IDs, etc, etc. And of course, you can even create a desktop shortcut that you can double click on to immediately switch to this account. And of course, this functionality will soon be added to the Ubisoft switcher over here when I get around to it. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Quickly before I head off, if you experience any issues, make sure to check the bug report channel down here or log an issue through GitHub. And if you have any other comments, you can leave them in general account switcher and leave feature suggestions down in feature requests. Of course, if you'd like to help work on the software, you're more than welcome to. Go ahead and give the software a peek and do remember to download the beta through the Discord if you're watching this within the next few weeks. Otherwise, if you see that the GitHub page looks dramatically different to what it looks like over here and you don't see a new beta version or something like this, then you can probably head across to the download latest button or on the right hand side where you'll see information about it. Currently, this old release over here was released last in June 12th, 2020. This was the last time there was an update to the previous version of the software. Since then, major changes and tons of commits have been made on this brand new version over here, adding other platforms and a completely different UI and code base. Again, in the description down below, you'll find a link to the Origin Account Switcher part of this, and I've yet to make an updated video on the Steam Account Switcher part of this. And of course, if I do, you'll find that in the description down below. But for now, I'll link the old Account Switcher so you can see what that was like back in the day. Thank you for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!